You're welcome to the secret place. A place of revival. May you remain blessed as you watch this video to the end in Jesus' name. Amen. I think it was last week. I think it was last week. I was going in a vehicle. Peeping out of the window. Out of the glass. I saw a man by the roadside. He was lying down flat there. His body was still. There was no movement. He was black all over. He was already getting swollen. What am I saying? I said his spirit had left his body. I don't know who was the last Christian that saw that man before he left this world and is gone beyond remedy. And that last Christian that saw that man, I don't know whether the Spirit of God said, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Because he will soon be called home. And he's not ready. Talk to him. What am I going to tell him? Jesus, tell him I died for. Tell him I will save him if he will call on the name of the Lord. But Jesus, I am ashamed. I cannot talk to him. He is taller than I am. I cannot talk to him. He looks bold and stout. He may damn me. And so I cannot talk to him. I said, I do not know the last Christian that saw that man when he was still breathing. When he was still walking. When he got to the market, I don't know whether the last tailor that sold his clothes was a Christian. And the spirit said, talk to him. I don't know whether the last place he bought his gari to eat was a Christian woman. And the spirit of the Lord said, talk to him. I don't know whether the last taxi that he went into was a Christian, the driver. And the spirit said, talk to him. And nobody talked to him. As we passed by that dead body, I looked again. I looked again and I wondered where is this man now? But let me ask you another question. The person who should have talked to that fellow, who didn't talk to him, is it righteous or wicked? Does he have the Christ of Calvary in his heart or the Satan in the Garden of Eden in his heart? The wicked. Who is wicked? Anybody who can see a perishing soul, a drowning soul, and he will look the other way, and he will say, I am not concerned. Anybody who has just been rescued from the sea, you were drowning yourself, and somebody gave you a helping hand, and he, and he gave you a helping hand to take you out of that sea, and you say, I am happy. I am rescued out of the grave of the water. And immediately you ran to meet up for your work. And a neighbor said, look at other people in the sea, floating, dying and struggling from the sea of perdition where you are rescued. And you said, please don't bother me. I have been rescued and I don't care what happens to any other person. I tell you that person is wicked. That person is wicked. And the wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the nations that forget God. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when we drop new video. God bless you.